Performing IOL calculations with the Alex iCubed. Performing IOL calculations with the Alex iCubed is easy, fast, and accurate. First, access the biometry scans from the image tray. If biometry has been performed in a prior session, locate the biometry scans by highlighting the date of the exam and press Enter. Dates of prior exams are noted directly above the image trays at the bottom of the screen. Review scans. If a single scan is to be used for the IOL calculation, choose the best one for each eye. The best scan will have all the echo peaks at maximum height, but not saturated so the peak is visible, and the longest ACD depth, particularly if the scans were performed in contact mode. Check that the calipers are in the correct position. Some users prefer to use an average of several scans, in which case, Check each scan as before and then ensure that the standard deviation is less than 0.1 millimetres. Right click on the images to be used and select Add to Report. Click on the Report tab located above the image trays. The images which were chosen for the right and left eyes will be seen in the trays. To print the biometry scan without the IOL calculation, proceed with the following. For the right eye, drag and drop the image into the box on the top of Report. Repeat for the left eye by dragging the image into the bottom Report box. Save the report by clicking on the middle button on the far right side of the screen. The scan images can now be printed. To print the biometry scans, which include the IOL calculations, proceed with the following. Click the IOL Calcs tab directly above the image tray. The screen with variables previously chosen by the physician will appear. Step 1. Ensure the correct operative eye is selected. Selecting single scan allows for the default values to load. Selecting manual entry allows the user to adjust the ACD, lens and vitreous values. Selecting axial only allows the user to adjust the axial length. Click the next button. Step 2. Select lenses screen now appears. Highlight the appropriate position on the drop down menu and select desired lens. These lenses have been added to the database at the time of initial instrument setup. Step 3. Check formulas desired for calculations and choose the appropriate formula for the report. Step 4. Keratometry values can be verified and changed here if needed. The post-op target refraction can also be entered. Click the Next button. Step 5. Generate report screen is next. The examiner will see measurements a scan biometry patterns and lens calculations for one or more lenses and formulas. Depending on how many lenses and formulas are desired on the report, two or more pages will appear in the tray to the left of the larger report screen. If desired, print preview may be selected or the report may be saved for later review. The report may now be printed by pressing the Print button below the Print Preview button. For further information, please refer to the iCubed Instruction Manual available under the Help tab on the iCube system, or visit the LX website at www.lx.com. <laughs>